Welcome to our how-to video on mapping data to the abridged version. In this version, we'll take you through a much more conceptual view of how to map your data rather than the extended versions where we go through line item by line item. So we'll start it the same way by going to File and clicking on New Company so that we can fill out our company's information. The fictitious company that we'll be using is Acme IT Services, Inc. And we'll make up a company ID. We'll just call it Acme12. We are, in fact, using the Fort Knox model. And these dates do, in fact, reflect the dates of our data. So now we can go to the optional logo and browse for a nice green Acme logo. And then click OK. Now click the load data icon and the load data module will pop up. We would like to fill the balance sheet data and profit and loss data input lines with the data that we just exported from our accounting software. So click on browse and select those. And then we'd like to go and click on the row map icon so that the row map module pops up. We see the line items from your data in the top left line items and survival wear on the right, and then a grid that allows you to view your progress when you press the refresh grid button. You'll notice that survival wear has already omitted several line items. These are headers and totals that are unnecessary to map ourselves. Now if we click the unmap only radial button, we'll see the line items that have not been mapped yet. It is convenient to map the import checks first. Those are net income, total assets, total liabilities, and total equity. These are things that SurvivalWare calculates and then compares to your line items to make sure that your data has been mapped correctly. I'll do the net income import check as an example. So at the end of my income statement is the net income line item, and I'd like to select that and then in the categories in SurvivalWare, I'd like to select Net Income from GL. GL stands for General Ledger, in this case our accounting software. And then I click Map, and it maps it. If I would like to unmap it, I would highlight that same one and click the Unmap button. I may also drag and drop if I'd like to. But now, I'll take you to the How to Map Data map, which illustrates conceptually the mapping data process. You'll notice that income statement and balance sheet have been separated and then additionally categorized so that we see type of line items in blue and import checks in orange. Going to the income statement, there are essentially three types of line items. Sales, cost of sales, and operating cost. With things like interest expense being put into operating costs, even though that's not technical. And at the end of your income statement is net income. On the balance sheet, we have essentially three other categories, assets, liabilities, and equity. And at the end of each one of those is an import check, total assets, total liabilities, and total equity. And so here's one more look at the how to map data map. I hope this assists you conceptualizing the mapping data process. Now let's fast forward to the end, which is the most enjoyable part of the mapping data process. We can see now that all the line items on the top left are no longer there. They're in the categories on the right. And doesn't that just look pretty? Cost of sales, sales, operating, expenses, everything. And now we can just click the next button and it loads it. No errors detected. That's a good thing. Now it's time to play with SurvivalWare and get down to the numbers that affect our business. Thanks for watching.